What is up and welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be putting in a lot of work on the engine. Well, everything we have um, to go in the engine is pretty much ready, or we think. So we're gonna run, probably run into some stuff here and there. But everything that I think has been painted, they're all here. Some stuff over there, we got the intake manifold, we got um, some other stuff there that we gotta work with. So we're gonna be working with that, there's the block. Um, so the first thing we're really, I'm thinking we need to do is put the rest of these hard lines on so we know where they're going um, and connect all the hoses. And then we gotta figure out the PCV system um, for the pressure, crankcase pressure stuff. So there's two here and there's two here, but since we're doing something to, with this, there's some lines that need to be run and I wanna make sure they're as um, hidden as possible. So we're going to do those while the engine is out. Um, and then also doing the EVAP and emissions deletes will be removing some lines here and there so we got to figure out which ones are those and that is why today usually I have it over behind my car on the bench over there I have the service manual so if you guys are ever working on your car find the service manual for your car um, Subaru does a pretty good job with theirs um, I have the full one this is just emissions control because I was checking some stuff but it, it does pretty good with like removal and assembly and diagrams and stuff but there's always the diagrams online, like for parts and stuff, you can usually find a nice diagram to figure out what lines go where and so forth. Anyways, so we're going to figure out some of this, these lines and then we're going to start on that. It only took us 10 seconds and we've messed up. So this guy that runs down there, it's a coolant line, we couldn't get it on because this guy was in the way and we still might not be able to get on? I need to look at a parts diagram because that should just go in, supposedly. Allegedly. Allegedly. You guys can laugh at us in the comment section because... But we have to take that off anyways. That's the way it goes, but... I guess we did have to take it off, but yeah, we were putting it in a completely wrong way. So, nailed it. 10 out of 10. Anyways, we're gonna put this all back on and then we have all the hard lines on and it's time to just plumb up the rest. So we got this hard line on and we got this hard line and we've got them all plumbed up. So this one goes right down to the block and then this guy goes down here and then around to these lines here. We just got to put the hoses on. This guy is on. Um, this line runs from here to here and then to this part where it comes from the radiator. So we got all the hard lines on. I'm just going to give you guys a nice view right now. So if you guys need to look at it later, um, we might have used the wrong bolts for this, like this one's got a Phillips head, but this is all we could find, so that's what we're going to be using. Maybe someone put it in the wrong one, I was looking at my old videos and it wasn't even there, so who knows what actually happens, um, but we're going to leave that. So there, that's all done. Um, I'm trying to figure out running some lines. I'm not going to tell you what the lines are for yet, because you guys didn't guess in the last video, so who, why, why will I tell you? Um, <laughs> you'll know eventually. But Adrian is now working on getting the TGVs all ready to go. Um, he just cleaned the injector, like the ends of the ejectors, and he's getting ready to put those on the block. What I'm going to do, since we're both kind of actually busy working on stuff, is going to toss a GoPro, I think, on this ladder or something of the whole um, shop and then just do a time lapse for maybe, like, I don't know, we'll see, like, a couple hours or something and see how that works. And then you'll actually see me in the time lapse recording. So it'll be kind of one of, like, when I did the polishing live stream for this where you guys kind of seen a behind the scenes. Anyways, I will get to, um, back to you guys once Adrian started to put on the um, TGVs and set of the right TVGs <laughs> um, when he's putting those on and then I will also show you guys the hoses once I figure out what's going on because right now I have no clue. <laughs> They're all assembled and Adrian's starting to put them in. Um, we did find out that it has two sets of bolts. We were talking about this in a different video. And those two sets are different lengths. So when you put um, different spacers in, I guess, um, it's supposed to keep your intake manifold cooler. Um, but I'm not going to be running at this like as a race car all the time. So it's not a huge worry. Um, so essentially, all we're doing now is we're just changing out these guys. They're just a little bit shorter. Um, we got the new gaskets from Subaru, so we're putting those on. Um, the surface has already been scraped down by Adrian like 
two weeks ago or something. So those are all ready to go and essentially it's just time to install them. Um, they have on their website the torque specs, so we're following that, but unfortunately it's like, what is it, 16 pounds or something? It's, it's not very much and the torque wrench I have starts at 30. So we're just kind of winging it. Um, really it's not super, super big of a deal. Like we're not gonna totally mess it up, but we should be good. Um, so yeah, we're just installing those, got the time lapse going. And I'm gonna continue working on these hoses. And then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to run to um, Napa to get some fuel line because I just wanna replace it because well, this is solid, this is rock hard. So we're gonna leave, replace those. We're gonna get a couple things here or there. We're gonna get a hose here and then we're gonna continue on. Look at all those lines. So I'm starting running this. I'm trying to figure out how we can like hide this, like maybe run it under there. The issue is I don't want this to melt on the engine block. It shouldn't. Hey. You didn't hear me say that. Anyways, so we're going to be putting in the sender. So there's an oil pressure one here. So this you can take out because Subaru did some smart things and they um, did a closed loop relay. So once this activates, it actually turns on the light. Um, so when it's out, it doesn't matter. And that's the rear one where we're gonna put the temperature. So pressure goes here and temperature goes there. Um, I have them in my little baggies over here. Um, you guys were very close to guessing the ages last time, but I'm not gonna tell you. These are the two we have. Um, so the pressure is actually the same size as stock, so it goes right in there. And then this guy is the temperature. Oh no, a temperature sensor, oh no. So this is a stock um, pressure sensor, and that is the aftermarket one. So this has the correct little guy, the button, to put it right in there. So that's gonna go fit right right there um, once I get some tape. <laughs> and then we're gonna figure out, I don't know if it came with one. So we have this guy installed because well, it already had the little guy in there so all we had to do was thread it in but unfortunately this back one doesn't have it. So we're gonna um, see if we can find one but we also need to get some of this as I said so we'll be going to get um, some fuel line, we'll also be getting some caps and anything else that we need to put this together. So we'll be back with that. There we go, so we have some of the stuff we need. Um, didn't get all of it. Of course, Subaru Calgary never has anything we have. Shout out to Subaru Calgary, because they never have anything. Um, so we aren't able to mount the other gauge, but Adrian decided he's, he wants to reverse mount this. Just, just why not, why not, just send it. No, I'm just kidding, no. So if you're going front mount or big, front mount with a big rotated, that's what you do, you put it on that way so your um, intake's like that. But that's what we're not doing. Anyways, so I'm gonna wrap the harness um, and then I think Adrian's gonna get the fuel lines ready and then we can toss this guy back on um, and then work with that. So there we go, the harness is all wrapped up in black tape, new fresh black tape. It is definitely not the best job ever, but you don't see it and it's really just to protect it and just um, add another layer of protection from, you know, rain, snow, or whatever comes its way. Anyways, so Adrian is now working on the task of figuring out these fuel lines and cutting new fuel line for it because you might as well replace it because the old stuff is literally like cracked. So he's just making the new line, so he's got a couple ones here, one here, and now we're doing this one. This is a pain right now. We're trying to figure out exactly how it's supposed to be set up. Um, and we first thought this bottom one, uh, this guy went up here just because of the diagram we were looking at for legacy. But we actually went out to Adrian's car and determined that this goes here, goes around, and then this runs up there. So that makes much more sense. So once we have those two fuel lines, that is all good to go and we can actually mount the harness on the intake. So the fuel lines are all done, they're ready to go on, but we can't put them on, as I said, because we gotta do like three more things before that happens. Um, so we have to put the Tomy's um, intake on. We got to figure out how to run that because there's a bunch of issues with stuff there. We got to um, run a couple of these hoses and then we also got to put on the harness and the harness mounts. And we're not gonna do that today. <laughs> Just because we've been in here for, I don't know, five, six hours, so we're gonna go climbing now. So that is gonna be it for today, but I'll be back in here tomorrow. Who knows if Adrian will be here. He's gotta do some training, so we'll see about that. But I know I will be back in here because I wanna get this car done as soon as possible because they finally street sweep the roads, so that means the R compounds aren't gonna kick up rocks. But that is gonna be it for today, so until tomorrow, peace out and stay humble. Oh yeah, say bye, Adrian. Bye. <laughs>